There has never been a better time than now to come join the Belicio Foods team. Belicio has a new contract in place with plenty of awesome perks for their employees. From increased wages, access to the free health clinic, vacation after six months, and much more, Belicio Foods is committed to putting their employees first. For more information or to apply, visit BelicioFoods.com slash careers. Take advantage of these great new employee benefits and join the Belicio team today. Visit BelicioFoods.com slash careers to learn more. Happy Tuesday, everyone, and welcome to the Apple Festival Queen edition of the morning show right here on Main Street TV. And, of course, Jennifer here with who better to start off the morning oh. than our queen here, <laughs> Karina Folks. Oh, thank you for that introduction. She's our queen. It's not the horse queen. But Not it's quite close. It, it might. It's close. Yes. Yes. But no, seriously, um, Apple Festival, I know, um, holds a special place in your heart as you were one of the very few. It's a very small sorority of <laughs> um, people that had the privilege of being both the little queen and the big queen. Yes. So I was the... 1999 Little Miss Apple Festival Queen, and then I was the 2011 Apple Festival Queen, and I was crowned by the same girl for Isn't both that, of them, which you is just crazy. Told me that that yes. is insane. Oh, there's oh, look so cute. Yes. Oh. So Taryn Strauser was the first girl to do that in the history of the queens, and she crowned me Little Queen, and she crowned me Big Queen, and then this year is special for me because this picture up on the screen. That is my little queen, McKinley uh, Morris, who is our second attendant this so year. She, yeah, she's here in the house. I've cried a few times this week. Aw, <laughs> it's so cute, though. Yes, and it's a special week. Yeah, absolutely. And, you know, do you, like, does it just seem like yesterday that you were the queen and, like, you know, like, it yes. is such an honor to, to it be royalty. It literally seems like of, it was just yesterday. Apple Festival. Yeah, yeah, we have such a great community here, and I've said that over and over on the show, and to represent the community and go around and talk about the festival and the wonderful people here in Jackson and how excited we get for this week is just something that I'm so grateful I had that chance to do. So absolutely. Yeah, it's a lot of fun. Yeah. yeah. So what was like, just throw us out a couple of memories of, of you being queen or little queen, <laughs> even like some, something that, that was just really memorable to you that Gosh, happened. I'm trying to think. Back a few years ago when Back you were the queen. Back a few years ago. Little Queen's hard for me to that completely would be remember that one. I was lucky I had what I think is being special. What is special about being in this, you build lifelong relationships. So when I was Little Queen, my big queen was Christy um, Sturgill, now Counter, and we have stayed close, I mean, since I was five. Sure. For 20 years now. And for big queen... Memory, I was on it with one of my best friends, Shelby Reynolds, so that was really special. And the lip sync contest is probably my favorite memory from my year as queen. Um, if we could get McKinley to recreate at some point this week the cartwheel that she did on stage, um, I'm you remember? hoping. Oh, she remembers. Oh, there's a video on Facebook. So that video is still out there, and if she could recreate that cartwheel this week, my week would be made. Are you working on it? Okay. She says she's going to do it. She won't do it. She'll do it. She won't do it. Are you going to do it? Okay. She has 24 hours to put it into her lip sync routine. Oh, no, that's tonight, isn't it? That's tonight. So she has today. You have 12 so. hours to put it into your... No? Like... 11 hours to put it into your I believe that lip sync contest is sponsor sponsored by Total Media. Also. It is. That is true. It is. Yes, we are sponsoring the lip sync contest tonight. James and I were like, we got out of that one because we can't yeah, participate. We're not allowed to win, so we may as well not participate. <laughs> but I feel like you should enter a team. We should have a Total Media. I can't do it because I will be watching um, our cheerleaders. I'm a volunteer cheer coach. Our cheerleaders are in it. So I can't participate, but you guys could. What song would you do if you picked a lip sync contest, right? If you had to do it right now. Oh. 
James, I want to hear this from you. What song would you pick? Well, I thought me and Jen joked about doing the Grease song in karaoke one We time. did talk oh. about that. So we could make that work. I Something think. from Grease. Yeah. I mean, I don't know the words, but... <laughs> I, know, I can help you. I, I can find you leather goes. leggings, and you've got blonde hair. I we have leather make... leggings. Yes. Just saying. I have big hair and leather <laughs> leggings. It wouldn't be that hard. Oh. I mean, minus the um, about 100 pounds mm -mm. less weight on my body. <laughs> <laughs> I'd love every minute of it. But it, it could be, be done. So. Um, yeah. So, no. That is it, – it is really, really cool, and um, – it's neat that you got the experience of, of being both. And actually, Katie, you yes. are a little queen of big queen, too. Yeah. So that's really neat. Yeah. Yeah. There are, I think, five, four. Are you the fifth? I'm the fifth. The fifth. Yes. So five girls who have been lucky to do it. And it's, it's yeah. even if you don't make, if you don't get to be both titles, being on the court, it's still yeah. amazing in itself to get to, you know, travel around with everyone. And, I mean, you're still just in it and... It's exciting. It's super fun. And this is going to be a great week for the girls. Yeah. All right. Former has been Apple Festival queen. Yes. Um, what is your, what are you looking forward to most for this week? Oh, the food. I know. I feel like I've said this for like weeks now. Like we just said, why don't we have the cinnamon rolls in front of us? Like right now. Like right why now, are there not more cinnamon a rolls in front of us? Cinnamon roll, chicken and noodles. Pizza rolls. Um, pizza rolls, uh, funnel cake. Like, I don't know what's coming first. I've really, I've thought about this today. It what doesn't, do it, I go I, for first? Okay, so this morning Jamie's leaving and he go and I said, can I have some money? Because I never have money with me. <laughs> and he was like, why? I'm like, don't ask. I just need some money. Yep. Yeah, I, I know we're on a low-carb diet, but. <laughs> that doesn't count during this week. Don't ask. Third full week in September, carbs calories just, nothing mm -hmm. matters you walk a lot yeah you walk all over the festival that's right that's fine we're fine we're fine yeah we'll be fine we'll walk around an extra time oh yeah just for fun so uh total yeah. media booth we do we have one this year let's talk uh, about we that. almost didn't have one but now we have one <laughs> um how did we almost not have one well we there was some confusion <laughs> but we have one and it's super cute the the crew down here and at the plaza did a wonderful job decorating yesterday so you'll see we are right as on the screen across from the marquee so we are running um some specials you can stop by we'll give you some information on that at the booth we'll have yes. somebody at the booth um all the time so stop by say hi we may be giving some things away you'll see probably matt doing a remote out of the booth one day every day who knows he'll be popping around the festival so yeah. a lot of fun things in our booth this week that's right james and i are going to be there from two to four today so i suggest yeah, you so stop by if you want to be on main street tv i recommend you stop by the booth from two to four today and if you don't and don't want to you know have weird things happen to you avoid the booth from two to four today <laughs> You should go. I feel like we should film some type of, like, people walking by and either saying their favorite Apple Festival. Oh, it's on. Food, memory. Do you really think that he and I are going to stand inside a booth and do nothing obnoxious for two hours? Oh, I'm, I'm going to act like I don't know what you're doing the rest of the day. <laughs> I'll be up there. I'll be in the chamber booth today from 12 to 3. So come stop by the Chamber of Commerce booth. Um and I'm going to act like they're probably not doing something that they shouldn't be doing. So, um, Speaking <laughs> well, we're not going to do anything we shouldn't do, but we're going to try to have some fun. Yeah. Uh, speaking of giveaways, we're giving away Bingles tickets, aren't we? Yes, we are. Shut the front You're door. You're giving my surprise out. Oh. Yes. No, I'm <gasps> kidding. Um, yeah, we have Bingles tickets. I thought we wanted to brag about it because that's an awesome prize. Wow. Yeah. It was, yeah. Oops. Oops, cats out. <laughs> yes, we have Bengals tickets at our booth that we're going to be doing an enter to win type deal. Um, so go enter, get the chance to go up and see Joe Burrow, and I believe that is against Urban Meyer and the Jacksonville Jaguars. Yeah. Ooh. A lot of Ohio love right oh, there. Oh yeah. That that's so. wild. Number yep. one draft pick, Trevor Lawrence. Yep. Oh, that yeah. should be yeah. some good Last stuff. Last year's number one overall draft pick versus this year. Well, the two rookies. Yeah. Well, Burroughs is duking second. it out. Yeah. yeah, I consider him a rookie though. After yeah, last year's he kind of. Injury. 
But Didn't exciting to time to get to so stop by. Another reason to stop by and see Jen and James today. Woo, woo. And you'll see a bunch of the Total Media crew up there for the rest of the week. So everyone will be up there. Stop by. That's right. That's right. All right. Well, Miss has been uh, Apple Festival Queen. Because I'm the has been so horse queen. Harsh. Has been. Has been. Like, I'm the has just, been horse queen. Huh. All right. You we are. will always Wait, you be should have wore your horse crown today. Well, you should have worn your Apple Queen crown today. I will actually have it on on Saturday. Okay. We are doing a reunion on Saturday. Oh, no way. Yes. How fun. And I feel like if it's not too late, could we do a last minute entry into the parade for Jennifer as like a has-been horse queen? Well, you weren't watching Maybe. yesterday because Chris, I wasn't. Chris I'm o- sorry. I was in a meeting no. yesterday. Chris O'Boyle and I have decided that since they did not take my suggestion and put the galloping contest <laughs> into the Apple Festival, <laughs> that they were going to What's allow the me. the galloping contest? You just... You it's a gallop? race. You gallop. Like, who doesn't like to gallop up Can and down the street? Can we get a demonstration of this later? Hey, we have a demonstration. Do yeah. we not, James? Yeah, if you uh, dig back on our Facebook page a year, oh, you'll find no. uh, Jen, Amanda, and Caitlin having a galloping race down Main Street. We did. We galloped. I'm and glad Amanda so was here for that. She was. Yeah. Um, and we even had fake whips. <laughs> <laughs> but no, so I have been pushing for this galloping contest of which they have failed miserably to put into the Apple Festival. So therefore, Chris O'Boyle and I decided yesterday that if I could uh, find my horse queen stuff, I'll even put on the belt buckle. I'd have to get a bigger there's belt. There's a belt buckle? Oh, there's a belt buckle. We've never talked about this. Oh. A belt buckle. A giant belt buckle. I love it. I love yes. it. <laughs> um, my dog ate my boots, so I don't know what about that. But he said that he would allow me to gallop as the horse queen all the way through the Saturday night parade if I would do it. Would you do it? No. <laughs> what would it take? Ooh. There's... A lot of beer, probably. <laughs> I don't know. That's no, fair. And then I I'd, like, that. throw up. That's fine. <laughs> oh, you mean you're going to a lot of beer to do it. I thought yeah. you meant as your reward. No. Oh, okay. Well, that's that's a family atmosphere. We don't want that. It would, um, no, I. Trina is apparently okay with you throwing up. <laughs> <laughs> no, someone would have to gallop with me. James. I, I Chris O'Boyle would be a fabulous galloper. He would be a fabulous galloper. I can't I can't videotape it and gallop at the same time. I'll videotape. Time, so I guess I'm out. I'll volunteer to videotape. You gallop. I don't know. We'll work right. out the logistics we'll figure it out of later, all this. But yes. Anyways. It's a possibility. So. All right. I'm going right. to exit out of here. These girls look nervous. So Why do you excited? look nervous? She looks like that. Why are you nervous? Get your butt no, over here, McKinley. There are no words coming out of her mouth right now. She's just nervous. She's giggling. Come on over, kiddo. And Miss McKinley is on her way over here. And there is our court right now. So we are going to talk to everybody. Welcome, welcome. Thank you. Your hair looks pretty. <laughs> You're welcome. She always looks pretty. <laughs> So what the heck? So McKinley, you actually, this is really cool because you were actually a little queen as well. I was in 2010. So this year you are, introduce yourself like you're supposed to formally. Hello everyone. I'm McKinley Morris and I'm the 2021 Jackson Apple Festival second attendant. That's exactly right. And welcome. We're so happy to have you here. Thank you. I'm happy to be here. Yay. And um, okay, so tell everybody a little bit about yourself. You go to Jackson. I do. I go to Jackson High School. I've gone to Jackson since I was in kindergarten. I'm 16. And yeah, very happy to be here. Very happy to be representing the Apple Festival this week. And I just hope everyone has a great time. Yeah, and that's the, the whole point, isn't it? Definitely. So, uh, are you a senior this year? Or junior? I'm a junior. Okay, you'll be a junior, th- or you are a junior this year. How's school going? Is it's it great? Is it weird though? Like with all of um, it is weird, but we kind of got used to it last year. Yeah, with the mask and everything, so we just make the best of it. Okay. But I enjoy being with my friends every day. Yeah, rather be in school than not be in school, definitely. right? Definitely. Yeah. Okay, I think that's a, the consensus of everyone. So, what are some of the fun things that that you can remember that you've done thus far as Apple Festival second attendant? My favorite memory so far would have to be the River Days pageant and parade. 
we were gone all day. We left at, I think, 7.15 and got back around midnight. So that was a great day. And then the next day, we got up around 8.30 and went to Obet's. Oh, and wow. And there was Zucchini Festival. So that was a great time. Very, very good. So what made the River Day special to you? Meeting all of the new people. We got to meet most of the contestants. We got to meet people from different festivals that we haven't usually seen. And we got to spend, like I said, hours and hours and hours together. And it was just such a great time. Very good. Love that. So what um, what is your favorite fair or festival food? i got to get that in because that's important. Um, funnel cake. And I drink a lot of festival lemonade. Oh, that's good, that's, isn't yeah. it? Love it, love it. I mean, you're sweet enough already. You don't need all that sugar. <laughs> no, I the the le- lemonade is spot on for sure. And you like funnel cake. I love funnel cake and elephant ear, but funnel cake is the best. I think that that's an age old debate. Are you a funnel cake person or an elephant ear person? I I feel like there's always one. So you like one more than the other. Definitely, yeah. So you're you're more toward the funnel, funnel cake. cake. Yep. Yeah. All right. We'll we'll take the poll. Y'all be thinking about that. All right. Um, well, very good. What is your, is the River Days your favorite festival that you've been to so far or? No, my favorite festival would be the Strawberry Festival. Where's that? In London. Okay. And what makes that one special? Um, I really like the dress that I wore that day. I don't know if that's part of it. And then after we went to Longhorn and that was seriously the best meal that I've had in a really, really, really long time. Well, that's good. Very cool. All right. Well, what do you look forward to most this week as, you know, the second attendant? And, you know, you guys are busy. We are. We are very busy. I'm most excited about riding in the big flow. From being a little queen, I always looked up to the big queens riding the big flow, and it's finally my turn to be on it. So I'm very excited about that. Well, very, very good. And um, you guys are participating in the lip sync contest tonight. Yes, we are. Are you going to do the cartwheel? I don't know. I got to figure out today how to how to put it in there. How to work it in. Yeah. Okay. I have, have to do that. So are you going to divulge your song? No, we actually have it's a secret, but we have pretty good. We have a pretty good thing for tonight. I'm excited. Okay. All right. Well, we'll just have to wait and see. <laughs> yeah. All right. What is the, your favorite event that happens during the Apple Festival? I actually love the Wednesday night parade. I've been in it for, well, since I was little queen because the cheerleaders are always in it. Uh huh. And I, I love getting out of school all day, being at the festival until five or six, going home, changing really quick, and then coming back. I, just, I love being in that, fest, in that parade. In that parade. That's a good one. And, you know, I always have loved the Wednesday day parade um, because it's the one time you get to see the floats in the, in the daylight. Yes, and yes. they're so different. Yes, they are. Very different. It's totally really cool. Yeah. yeah. So, all right. Well, is there anything you would like to tell our viewers before we let you get out of here for the day? Um, just If you see us, come say hi. We'd love to talk to you. We, we travel everywhere, but they're so far away. A lot of the time we don't get to see people from our community. So if you see us, come say hi. We'd love to get to know you. That's right. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. <laughs> all right. Next. Here we go, and um, we are going to talk now with our first attendant, and she is on her way over, and she is pumped up as well, I can tell. (laughs) You guys all have twinkles. It's so cute. (laughs) Did Dr. Brian Morris do those? Yeah. Is he here in the house? There he is. Okay. (laughs) Dr. Brian Morris is here. You, the good news about all of this is that y'all's teeth will be very well taken care of during yeah. this, during all of this, right? Okay, so welcome and tell everybody who you are. Um, hello, everyone. My name is Kirsten Clark, and I'm the 2021 Jackson Apple Festival first attendant. All right, and Kirsten, a little bit different. Um, you are from the Oak Hill area, right? Yes, I am a 2021 graduate of Oak Hill High School. All right, and so what are you into now? Um, Besides, you know, being Apple Festival royalty. Yeah. (laughs) Uh, I hang out with them most weekends, and other than that, um, I'm usually home, um, spending time with my mom, my dad, and our animals. What kind of animals do you have? We we have a zoo. (laughs) 
We have, I feel ya. We have a lot of dogs. Um, we have two cats, and we have five horses. Very good. So a little farm girl, huh? Yeah. <laughs> gotcha. Are you doing uh, any schooling right now? Um, no. I wasn't really going to go to school. I planned on going into the Marine Corps. Oh, yeah. After I give up my title. Okay. But uh, I realized that I really like helping people and um, caring for other people. So I would really like to be a doctor. Very good. Yeah. Good for you. You know, I um, I think that it's always good if you don't know exactly what you want to do, to, to do just live life for a little bit and have some experiences and then figure it out along the way. Yeah. Then you're not wasting your time, right? No. And money. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that's a big thing. Well, good for you. Proud of you. All right. So what has been your favorite fair or festival that you all have gone to so far? Well, I hate to be a copycat, but... Um, <laughs> I don't think you're a copycat. The River Days um, parade was really fun, but the pageant was, I mean, out of this world. Like, it was literally like sitting at a Miss America pageant. Like, they have really? like, a fitness routine. They have um, formal. They have, um, like, business attire, kind of. Oh, wow. They really go all out. Yeah. it's it, And it's, like, it's so loud. And all the school, you can have, like... Um, members from your school, family, friends, or whatever, um, come, and there was, like, a cheer section for each. Aww. And it was so loud, like a football game. It was it was a good experience. That's awesome. Yeah. I've heard that they do a really good job down there and that they have a lot of fun. It was, I mean, that was that was my favorite night. That was, it was good. Good. So what has been, um, other than that one, like, uh, something memorable that's happened to you uh, so far? Um, anything embarrassing? I had one. <laughs> yes. I had one girl that got pooped on during a from a bird during a, a parade. That was a few years ago. Yeah, no, that was, I would cry. That yeah. would suck. Yeah, she. Well, it didn't happen to me, and I was at my senior prom. It was our very first festival. Um, I unfortunately missed it for my prom. I didn't get a junior one because of COVID. Oh yeah. So I was like, I have to go. Yeah. Um, but it was the Wild Turkey Festival in um, MacArthur. Yes. No, MacArthur. Yes. And um, Katie <laughs> ate some cheese sticks, I guess, from the festival. And um, she got like a really bad migraine. And on their way home, <laughs> she threw up all over my cupcake and on top of McKinley's dress. <laughs> Hey, Baxter, you know what? It's okay, yeah. Katie. She's like, I'm going to kill you. <laughs> <laughs> that was like the first thing that popped into my head. I'm sorry. <laughs> no, that's fine. Hey, we asked about memorable moments. That's okay. That's definitely memorable. Yeah. So you didn't get your cupcake, I take it. <laughs> no. McKinley put her hand in it to get the cupcake out. But I didn't. <laughs> I wanted her to have it. I don't think she really wanted it. <laughs> but that's really nice of you to think i didn't get it i didn't eat it okay that's good that's good well we'll get you another cupcake it's okay there's <laughs> it's plenty okay. down here this week so what is your favorite memory um not of this year but like of coming to the apple festival um in 2009 i wasn't a little queen but i did um make the top 10 finalists oh yeah okay and um i remember being in that parade after that and I was looking up to the, the big queens, and at, right, as soon as, like, the parade was over, I looked at my mom, and I was like, I want to be the big queen one day. Like, as soon as I'm old enough, I'm going to do it. Aww. And I tried out um, in 2019, and I unfortunately didn't make it. But I was going to try out the year of COVID when we didn't have it. In 20, yeah, and it got all messed up. So I tried out this year. They la allowed me to try out this year. Because I already put my paperwork for last sure, year. right. And here I am. And there you are. Yeah, so I made that's it. That's <laughs> so good. Well, congratulations. And what is your favorite thing to, to do at the Apple Festival? Um, well, um, I every year, my birthday falls on the Apple Festival. Oh, well, happy birthday. Thank when you. is it? It's Friday. Happy birthday on Friday. <laughs> Thank you. Um, but every year for my birthday, I come and watch the um, entertainment 
at the Apple Festival, and my favorite one was, um, I think it was 2017 when Aaron Tippin came. Yeah. That was my favorite. I love him. Yeah, he's a cutie pie. He he's been <laughs> kind of back in our, in my time a couple of years ago. He is a good singer. He is. Yeah. Well, and he's like, you know, kind of true to country. Yes. Yeah. A lot of things are crossover now. And, and I got to take a picture with his son that was there. Oh, was he cute? Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah, I think so. Next thing you know. <laughs> I think he's a little me. old oh. for me. Drat. Okay. <laughs> Too bad. Yeah. <laughs> All right. So what is your favorite Apple Festival food? Um, well, I've never had elephant ear, so. What? Yeah. Never. <laughs> so but I have had fennel cake. I, I like fennel cake. It's good. Okay. Are you going to make it a point to get an elephant ear? Yeah, I will try it. Okay. Are they good? Yes. <laughs> Do you like cinnamon and sugar? Yeah. Then yes, it will be your it will be bomb for you. Robbie, we gotta get one of those, okay? <laughs> he says, "Cool, you got the thumbs up. You're good." <laughs> yeah. All right. Well, is there anything that you would like to tell our viewers before we let you get out of here for the day? Um, we hope to see everyone here, um, and we hope you have a great time at the 80th Apple Festival. It is the 80th. That's right. All right. Yeah, come out and see these girls. That's what you're there for, right? Yeah. You didn't come last year. Might as well make a point to stop by. You got it. Do you have a favorite ride? Are you guys going to ride some stuff? I think we ride rides today. I think we do that today. Um, I don't know if the zipper, the green thing that goes like this is here, but that's my favorite. Okay. It was here the last time, but that's my favorite. We'll see. The crazy whatever got was getting put up yesterday when I went down the the street. What was that called? The crazy what? Crazy town or crazy horse or the crazy something? Crazy, crazy house. What is it? Crazy dance. Crazy dance. Thank you. Kennedy saved the day again. <laughs> We're going to ride the crazy dance together? Mm -hmm. Are you on it? Are you, you there? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> All right. No, Brandon Davis and I decided yesterday that we were going to have to ride like one of the rides and and film it. But then James said that he can't bleep out all the cuss words oh, that would probably yeah, come out of my mouth. Gonna, that one that's right right outside the building that spins around. No. <laughs> I don't ride that. <laughs> yeah, I just, I could just see the issues. Oh. Just looking at it, not moving. Oh. Yeah, that's one of those where you look at it and you just instantly get sick. <laughs> but no, that's just because I'm old, not because the rides are bad. <laughs> But all right, well, have fun and thank, thank you. you for talking with us. Thank we you for appreciate having it. Us. Of course, anytime. Come back and see us. <laughs> I will. All right. All right, Miss Katie, you want to come over? All right. And Miss Katie is on her way over, and we are going to talk with her. Welcome. Hi. Thanks for having me. Oh, well, thank you for being here. We appreciate it. I know you're busy this week. Yes, we have a very busy week. <laughs> you do. So tell everybody who you are and a little bit about yourself. Hi, I'm Katie Brown. I'm the 2021 Jackson Apple Festival Queen. I am a junior this year and I go to Jackson High School. Um, I'm 16 years old and I was also a little queen in 2012. You know, and it, it blows my mind that that actually can happen. And it's happened a few times. What did we decide? Five times that that's happened? Did we say four, four or five? Four or five. Yeah. Yeah, very good. And um, so is it different being the little queen and than the big queen? Is it is it different or? I think a little bit. Whenever I was little queen, I really did look up to the big girls as like actual princesses. Um, now I like see little girls looking up to me, if that makes sense. Like, no, a, it does. Girls on the road are like, Mom, it's a princess. And this year we actually started giving um, crowns to little girls whenever we go to festivals. So, I love yeah. that. That's so good. Yeah. I'm hoping that Rob and Sherilyn continue that. Um, it's been very sweet to like just see their faces light up. So you know, and, and little girls grow up listening to Disney movies or watching Disney movies and all of this stuff. And and you know, you do want to be a real life princess someday. Yes. So that's really really cool. Good for you. So what has been some of the the fun memories that you remember thus far? Um. Other than the the cupcake incident 
I mean, that was definitely <laughs> a highlight, but a low point for me. Um, all I remember. I mean, we're not. We're sorry. We're laughing at your no, expense. No, it's fine. But, uh, um, I think it's pretty funny. They tell everyone the story. Um, I was like, I had the worst migraine, and we were only in Benton County. So I was like, I'll just ride home with the chaperones, you know. They always take us everywhere. It'll be and fine. And it'll be all right. Um, so we get close to Wellston, and I'm like, Sherilyn, I'm going to puke. Kinley says, let me move my dress. <laughs> so she's, we're in our big, huge red ball gowns that you'll see me wear on Wednesday. <laughs> and my mom had to wash it that night because I puked all over myself. Kinley reaches to grab Kirsten's cupcake and gets puke all over herself. And at the exact same time, she's still drinking her milkshake that they had to stop at McClure's for. And I am just, like, passed out in the oh, truck. Honey. Poor Rob had to clean up my puke. I'm sorry for that, Rob. And <laughs> honestly, everyone hears that story. So at this point, we'll just embrace it. There you go. It's out in the open. It's it's like nothing to talk about yeah. anymore, right? Uh -huh. Now Jen, you know. <laughs> Jen, of all the like fair and festival queens that you've had on the show, have we ever had an episode that talked about puke as much as we have today? No. I no, the, the bird poo I thought took took the cake, but this one definitely might take the cake. Yes. But I like that you're open about it. Yeah, it's fine. Yeah. You know if I can make people laugh, then it's all right. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> but my fest my favorite festival was probably the Betts Festival. Um, we sat with the Parade of the Hills queens. They're definitely some of our best friends now. And um, it's just a good time. And like I said, zucchini, I love zucchini bread. They had zucchini cake. And Ooh. whenever you cut into this cake, caramel like came out. Like, I don't know, like I'm a big foodie. And that was just amazing. Like, I loved that. And also like the parade, like the whole entire route, people were like talking to us as we were waving to them. Like, hey, like, you look so pretty. Like, your dresses are amazing. Like, oh, yeah. They're just so sweet there. That is so good. I've never heard that before. Yeah. Yeah, that's really cool. So how do you guys decide, like, what dresses and stuff you're going to wear? So we have a schedule, and normally it's red or white. We kind of switch it up for every festival, except if it's a patriotic parade, we do red, white, and blue. And then for River Days, we actually wore all blue this year. And on Saturday night, we will showcase our apple colors. I'm green, Kirsten's yellow, and McGinley's red. So that will be our first time actually wearing our apple colors. Very good. That's so fun. So you actually have a schedule. Y'all just don't willy-nilly show up with dresses on, right? Uh, kind of, yeah. We talk about it. Same with our outfits. Very good. Yeah, and you all are coordinated. So cute. Love it. Very good. So uh, what do you look forward to most this week? Um... I'm looking forward to our lip sync. I know that Kennedy's really excited about it. And I'm I'm just like looking forward to have fun. I know the Saturday night parade, I'm hoping to see a huge crowd. Since we didn't get to have it last year, I really want all of Jackson County to be there. I want to see That's everyone right. and wave to all my friends and family. So I'm really excited. You know, McKinley brought up a good point um, earlier, and that was that you know, you guys travel representing Jackson County to all of these other fairs and festivals, but you don't get to see, you know, your friends and families and all of that at those festivals typically. So this is the time where you guys get to be around all the people that you know. Yes, I'm really excited. We actually went to the Harvest Festival last weekend. Where's that at? Um, it was two and a half hours away. What was the name of the town? Crestline. Crestline. And okay. um, my aunt, she lives in Canton, Ohio. Okay. So she was actually able to travel to that parade. Oh, cool. So, I mean, like, at least I get to see her. Like, that was really special for me. Because yeah. we don't really see each other a lot. But, um, I mean, we've been to a couple parades in Oak Hill. Um, we've been to one in Wellston. And then we actually had the 4th of July parade in Jackson. Yeah. So we had a couple chances to see people around here. But normally they're about an hour to... Right, away. so they're kind of far away when yeah. you go to travel, so you don't get to see a lot of folks. Um, all right, favorite fair and festival food? Fried cheese. Except for the one time. Yeah, except for the one time. <laughs> um, and deep fried Oreos. That's my thing. I feel you. The deep fried Oreos freak me out a little bit because they are, I when I had them, I didn't realize that they would turn soft. 
Yeah. So, so it's like you're dipping in the milk, like an Oreo milk. Yeah. So I'm thinking it's going to be like batter, but still like crispy on the inside. So I had to get past that. Mm -hmm. But they are delicious. So good. Yeah. Definitely my favorite. Yep. All right. And favorite ride? Um, I don't really ride rides, but this year Kennedy has got me on most of them. So, um, probably She's a persuasive slide. little she thing, is. isn't she? Yeah. I like this slide because we all race down it. So yes. That's fun. That's fun. Especially in our dresses. <laughs> that seems like that would be a little difficult. Yes, it's an obstacle, but they make it work. <laughs> it's like a gauntlet. <laughs> it's the stairs. It's a little stairway. Get up to it. Know, it's like we this can't one. fit in it. <laughs> <laughs> that's funny. All right. So, is there anything else that you would like to tell um, our viewers before we let you get out and talk to Miss Kennedy? Um, I'm just hoping to see everyone there. Um, Hope you all come and enjoy it. I know that we didn't have one last year, so I'm really looking forward to seeing a lot of people there this year. That's right. And uh, stop in and see the girls. And if you see them out and about and see them on the street, say hi. Yes, That's what please. you're there for. Mm -hmm. All right, cool. And do you get out of school this week? We do. We're actually out of school today. And all of Jackson County, I think, is out tomorrow. So, woo! Yes. Go I'm Apple Fest. <laughs> yes. I'm hoping to see a bunch of my friends there. So. Cool. Yeah. Well, best of luck to you this week and Thank enjoy you. it and uh, just make sure that you take time to remember. Thank you so much for having me. Of course. Anytime. All right, uh, Miss Katie and uh, Miss Kennedy, come on over, kiddo. Did you bring uh, ice cream with you this time? Oh, darn it. See, last year we ate, was it blizzards we ate? What did we eat? Ice yeah, cream. I think it was just vanilla ice cream. Was it just ice cream? And your dad kicked our butts. It, uh, it was blizzards, and thanks, was, yeah, and thanks to Dairy Queen of Jackson for yeah. getting up early and getting those to us. Yeah, they did, didn't yeah, they? they did. That's right. I was trying to remember. All right. Well, Miss Kennedy is back in the house, and you have been the little queen for about thirteen years now. I feel like. <laughs> Not really, <laughs> but it has the way things have fallen. You have been the little queen for quite some time. So have you had a lot of fun? Yeah. You have a lot of fun. Yeah. I know we got to eat ice cream, so that was good. So what was your favorite, like what's your favorite things that you've gotten to do as the little queen? Um, gotten to go to a, um, a bunch of festivals. Yep, got to go to a bunch of festivals. Do you remember one that sticks out, like, that you thought was cool? I love the Sweet Corn Festival because I love the corn there. It's really good. Did you get to actually eat the corn? Very good. Do they do it, like, special somehow, or is it just, like, corn on the cob? I don't know. You don't know? You just got to eat corn, and you're happy about it. Good Good grief, you're falling apart, child. <laughs> so what do you get to do this week as the little queen? Um, I don't know yet. They didn't tell you yet? I forget. You don't forget. So you get to be in some parades, right? And what else? Um, I get to do the lip sync tonight. That's right. Are you going to tell us any secrets about it? I don't know. <laughs> Are you going to sing and dance? <laughs> you're silly. Are you going to, you, you're not going to tell us what it is you're uh, lip syncing? It's three songs collided together, though. Oh, three songs together. Oh, she did tell us a secret, <laughs> but not much anything. Well, thanks for letting us know about that. So are you going to dance? Yeah. Are you? I'm not telling you the ending, the ending part, though. Is the ending part the best part? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> I knew you were excited about it. <laughs> so what do you like to eat at um, at the festivals when you go and go to the parades and different things? French fries and a lot of vinegar. A lot of vinegar. So James and I have been talking about this vinegar thing with the French fries and why it is that they put it in a spray bottle because you just can't get all the vinegar down in the French fries with the spray bottle. What do you think about that? True. I'm just curious why, like, restaurants haven't adapted this. Like, when you go in to Archinetti's, why don't you have, like, a liter bottle of vinegar with a spray handle on top? I don't know. I mean, it it should be a thing. Just drink, drink everything with vinegar. 
And as I said, then you could just clean the tables with it too. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> um, you like Archinettes, don't you? Yeah. Yeah. You come see me all the time, don't you? My dad doesn't let me have chicken wings. <laughs> doesn't? Why is that? I don't know. We'll ta I'll, t I'll give him a call about that. What's your favorite Archinettes food? Chicken wings. Chicken wings that you're not allowed to have? <laughs> I've seen you eat chicken wings there before. With my grandpa. With grandpa. We'll have a talk with your dad about this chicken wing situation. Don't you worry about that. We tell him we won't give him any more ice cream until he lets you eat chicken wings. <laughs> so a lot of people don't know. Kennedy is um, is a little firecracker, and you like to do, like, um, are you still doing some of the, like, the... Um, obstacle courses and stuff like that. What's that called? That show that you like to watch? American Ninja Warrior? Um, yeah. Do you still do some of that stuff? Mm -hmm. So your dad has bought, built like little obstacles around your house, right? Tell us about that. There's a rock wall along the side of my stairs that you can go up and down with. And um, there, I also have monkey bars in my basement. So she gets to do all kind of fun stuff around the house, right? Mm -hmm. Do you have anything outside, too? I have a trampoline. <laughs> that sounds fun. <laughs> and then your dad has a motorcycle, so you get to ride with him on that sometimes, huh? We rode down to the festival. Did you? I figured you should have him ride you through the parade on that thing. <laughs> that would be fun. You can wave. <laughs> ah, maybe the float would be better. <laughs> So, um, on Saturday, though, you will be the, the um, Little Queen contest, so you'll actually get to crown a new Little Queen, right? Are you excited about that, or are you sad? But, I get it. That makes total sense. <laughs> so, what uh, ride, have you gone down and looked at all the rides down there? What one do you look forward to most? Um, when me and my dad went down to the festival, the Crazy Dance was open yet. So I bet that one would be my favorite. Yeah, I think that one looks pretty crazy, doesn't it? So what I just saw when they were opening it up yesterday, so what does it look like it does? Did, did you see, like, does it go round and round, or what's it do? Do you know? No. No? We'll find out, though, won't we? But um, the one that I have seen, my favorite one would probably be the hurricane. The hurricane? The one that my mom almost threw up on. Yeah. <laughs> a lot of throwing up around here today. No, I I can say that I would agree with her on that. I would not make it through the hurricane. No, no, not at all. Well, what has been the the best thing, the, like the most fun thing that's happened to you as you've been the little queen? Most fun thing? I've yeah. Um, a lot of things. A lot of things? <laughs> Anything stick out in your mind? No. No. You get out of school, though, right? Yeah. Oh, there is one that I got to go to school late. You got to go to school late? Yeah. That's awesome. Anytime you can get to go to school late, that's a good thing. <laughs> well, is there anything you would like to tell uh, the people watching today? Maybe invite them out to see you? Um, I don't know if whoever's watching the last time I've been here... But one time, I, I wore that apple shirt that you gave me to school. Oh, really? Very good. That's awesome. Well, Kennedy, we appreciate you taking time out of your schedule to come see us today. And I hope to, that we'll get to see you down on the streets here in a little bit. And maybe we can, uh, maybe we can ride some rides or something. Okay. You in? Yeah. All right. All right. It's my girl. All right, Miss Kennedy Niddle and this year's and last year's <laughs> a Little Apple Festival Queen. Thank you so much for stopping by. You're welcome. All right. All right. Uh, anybody else want to talk? No? Yeah. Katie's mom. No. I think Dina should talk. No? Well, we could have Brian come over and talk. He's good. Okay. Nobody wants to talk to me today. But um, you know what I think we should do? Katie, why don't you come back over here? Okay. She's like, oh, goody. 
But no, I was going to have Miss Katie go over um, the schedule for today, just to let everybody know what's going on, if you would. And then well, I think James has it. We can pull it up on the screen up there, too, so that people can see. Okay. So today we have the 9 a.m. to 11 p.m. quilt check-in at the Faith Lutheran Church. Um, we have at noon, the Apple Festival opens to the public. 2 p.m. apple peeling contest with the cash prize, so definitely stop by for that. 2.30, the booth and window display judging for the opening ceremonies. 5.30, the baton corp show. 6, the Disciples of Christ. 8, the I think, Weekends? is it the Weekends? I think that. Is that the Weekends? Let's go with that. <laughs> if not, we apologize. And 8.30, the lip sync contest, so make sure you stop by for that one. That's right, and you guys are going to participate in that. Yes, I'm excited. So, now, do you get to be in the apple peeling contest today? I hope so. I think we do. I remember doing it as Little Queen, so. Okay. Yeah, I got banned from the apple peeling contest. Did you cut yourself? Well, kind of, sort of, almost. And they took the knife from me and banned me from ever being back. Really? My peel was like that long. <laughs> I had someone help me last time when I was little, so maybe this time I can actually like get it by myself. There you go. I'm really bad at like with knives though. Like I'm really bad, and my hands shake. So me too. We'll, we'll see. How are you gonna peel with those nails on too, right? Oh, I don't know. These are my Apple Festival nails. I mean, they look really pretty, but it Thank might be you. it might hinder your apple peeling contest. Maybe a little bit. All right. So and then uh, the opening ceremonies. What what happens there tonight? Do you know? The JHS band, percussion, majorettes, and flag corps perform. There's a ribbon cutting ceremony by the mayor, Randy Evans, and crowning of the 2021 Apple Festival Queen and Court by the Grand Marshal, Randy Heath. So. Which is you guys. Yes. Very good. And, you know, the opening ceremonies is always a good thing. The band comes and plays, and um, it's just a really neat opportunity to kind of a hometown thing. So that's good. Yeah, so. I'm excited. Yeah. All right. And then do you get to participate in contests tomorrow, too? Um, I think so. And I'm pretty excited for the blizzard eating contest. So I Just love ice cream. Do not let Kennedy's dad in it because he's really good at it. Is he? Like he kicked our butts last year. We did one up here. So we had our own Apple Festival up here contest because, you know, it didn't happen. Mm -hmm. And Kennedy and her dad came, and we did blizzard eating, and yeah, it was, he just killed us all, so there you go. Then we won't go against the parents. No, definitely don't go okay. against the parents, just telling you. All right, well, thank you for doing that. I yeah, just wanted, I thought, well, having. while you were here, we may as well have you get over the, go over the yeah. schedule, and um, we'll go from there. So thank you, Miss Katie. Yeah, thank you. All right. Okay, so what we have not done is go over our Apple Festival weather forecast, and today it is looking, well, shoot, it, there's a little rain in the forecast, but hopefully it clears up. Let's see what the, what the, um, it's, it's looking like it's not supposed to rain any afternoon, so until late into the evening. So is that what it is, James? That's okay. what it looks like. So yeah. That's pretty good. Looks like 50-50 at noon, and then on, on out, it looks like it, maybe it'll move out for us. So that would be fantastic, just in time for things to open up on the streets of, of downtown Jackson. And the great news is we have some cooler temperatures in the forecast. So looking like um, some showers and, and things today, but hopefully moving out by noon. Highs today around 77 degrees. For tonight, partly cloudy with scattered showers and a chance of thunderstorms. Lows around 62. And then tomorrow on Wednesday, well, it's not going to rain, so you guys just need to do something about that. See if you can figure that out. Mostly cloudy. Um, there are a chance of showers and thunderstorms in the forecast today. We'll keep an eye on it and let you know. Um, and some cooler temperatures with highs around 69 degrees. Looking at Thursday, highs around 61. So, you know, in t true typical Apple Festival fashion, it's always that time of the year where you have to get out that sweatshirt and uh, maybe the jacket or whatever in the evening. So that's always fun. But um, that's just the, the time of the year it is. I think today's the last day of summer. Is that true? Did I hear that? Uh, yeah, I think you're right. I think tomorrow. Is it tomorrow? Last day of summer tomorrow. Okay, that's what Kennedy says, and she knows. So, there you go. All right, well, is there anybody else that wants to talk or do anything? 
You know, all the parents are wimps here. Oh, they're giving me the eye now. Okay. <laughs> well, let's uh, remind everyone that you and I are going to be at that total media booth today from two to four. That's right. And um, so, yeah, stop by, talk to James and I, and um, there it is. And if you don't know where the total media booth is, it's right across from the Marquet. So um, you can sign up for uh, newspaper subscriptions. You you can also stop by. Discount. Discounts. Tele yeah, at a discount. Yeah, at a Special discount. Apple Festival discount for Telegram subscriptions. That's absolutely right. And um, so that's a great thing. Also, you can... Um, Stop by if you're having any trouble, like logging into the morning show or want us to help you set up uh, the app or anything on your mobile devices, bring those and uh, James and I will be very, very happy to help you uh, download the apps or help you get it all set up so it automatically just pops up on your, on your screen uh, if we possibly can. So uh, it'd be a good time to stop by and see us. And it's two to four today at the Total Media booth. We'll also be down on the streets just doing some filming and stuff like that. So stop by and say hi if you see us. So there you go. I think Pete Wilson's going to be there at, from four to six. And I think Matt McKee's going to be doing his live remote from four to six also. Awesome. Yeah. So Pete and Matt will be there after us. So um, lots and lots of fun at the Apple Festival. Don't forget, everything does kind of kick off. I think the booths mostly open around noon today. Um, rides a little bit later. And um, the opening ceremonies are at four, right? Yes, yeah. four. Yep. And that's always just the official kickoff to the festival. So it's a lot of fun. Um, you get to see the band and all that stuff perform too. So, all right. Well, I don't think we have anything else, do we, James? No, I think we should just go ahead and say goodbye. All right. Well, we'll get out of here for the day. I want to thank all of the queens and their parents and chaperones for stopping up here today. It was really, really great to get to talk to them. Know that they are so excited about representing uh, our area at their own festival. You know, you get to travel around and see a whole lot of other festivals, but of course. Uh, your own is very, very special. So, all right. Uh, again, stop by seeing James and I tonight, two to four, and uh, we'll be happy to see you. Stop by and say hey, and uh, we will see you then. Um, tomorrow we have, is Morgan here Morgan, tomorrow? Morgan Washam's going to be in. He's going to play some music for us and talk about Jackson County roots. That's right. So always look forward to having our good buddy Morgan and here, and he will sing us some songs. Uh, talk about the concerts going on this weekend. So until then, have a great day and get down to the Apple Festival. Enjoy, and we'll see you right back here tomorrow. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.